Habit number three, maybe one of the more simple but important ones here, Matthew. What's most likely to happen? For yeah. example, Josh Allen has finished as a top two fantasy quarterback in four straight seasons. So kind of walk through your thought process with this one. I honestly think, I, and I don't know if it's because uh, fantasy analysts are all just trying to out impress each other. That's, and that, that's you know, And it's one of those things that you sit there, you, you know, the games are over on Monday night and then you've got until next Thursday. Like, and so fantasy managers, we all just tinker and think and think and think. But honestly, I, I think decision making becomes way too complicated a lot of times in fantasy. And uh, honestly, look, none of us can predict the future. You're just, you know, so we're all playing the odds, right? This is something Jay does with his betting all the time as well. You're just playing the odds. What's most likely to happen? And the example you gave, exactly, Josh Allen. Josh Allen has been a top two fantasy quarterback each of the last four years. What's most likely to happen? There's a chance that he that he completely falls off the face of the earth. There's a chance that he gets injured. There's always a, a but what's most likely to happen is that at the end of the year, Josh Allen is a top two fantasy quarterback, right? I'll, get, I'll give you an, another example, right? Okay, Arizona. Arizona selected Marvin Harrison Jr. with a number four overall pick, okay? Uh, since 2010, there have been six wide receivers drafted inside the top five. Four of those five wide receivers, all right? Or sorry, five of those six wide receivers. Six wide receivers drafted inside the top 10 uh, since 2010. And five of them, five of them saw at least 115 targets in their rookie season. The Cardinals do not currently have a wide receiver on the roster with a career target share above 15%. So what's most likely to happen? Fire up Marvin Harrison Jr. Maybe Marvin Harrison falls on his, uh, MHJ falls on his face. But chances are he's going to get a, a gazillion targets from one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL on a team that's likely going to be trailing. All right, so you just sort of see there. Top, last six wide receivers drafted top five overall. I mean, even Justin Blackman got 132 that, targets. That stands out. Right? Corey, and by the way, and the other thing on Corey Davis is people forget about this on Corey Davis. Corey Davis was hurt the entire yes. preseason, had a hamstring injury, didn't really get into the game, Tennessee, until like midway through the season. So that's sort of skewed. Corey Davis had a really tough rookie year for uh, for the Titans. But again, generally speaking, if you're a highly drafted wide receiver, you get pep, especially like inside the top five, you're going to get a ton of targets. Marvin Harrison Jr. You're going to get a ton of targets. All right. How about Derrick Henry, right? Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry's read, led the NFL in rush attempts in four of the past five seasons. He has six straight years, Jay, with at least 1,000 yards from scrimmage and double-digit rushing touchdowns. Since Lamar Jackson became the starting quarterback in 2019, Baltimore running backs are averaging a league high 4.8 yards per carry. So what's most likely to happen? Could King Henry fall off a cliff? Sure. Could he get injured? Sure. But again, this is somebody that has led the league in rushing attempts, going to a team that has led, led the NFL in yards per carry. What's most likely to happen? Derrick Henry's going to get a ton of rushing attempts on a very good offense and get a lot of scoring opportunities. Again, he has scored double-digit touchdowns now in five straight years, right? It's so On Henry as well. Six straight, sorry, six straight years. I think a big thing with Henry too is that Baltimore, for whatever reason, they don't use Lamar at the goal line as a runner. At least they didn't last Protective. season in yeah. the first year of that offense. They when had, you've got a quarter billion dollars invested in a guy, you yes. don't need to throw him into the right. you know a 350-pound defensive hurt. tackle. Yeah. Right, so yeah. They had 33 carries inside the five last year. Running backs got 28 of them and Lamar only got five, and Lamar only had 11 pass attempts as well. So when they get in there, and my sense in that is that you're kind of saving Lamar for fourth down, uh, mm -hmm. and it's like, can we just punch it in one of these three downs because um, the threat of Lamar is so dynamic. So I think that Henry, like Henry is the favorite to lead the NFL in rushing touchdowns for a reason. I, all I was going to say is that those are three examples here, but I think the, 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 the bigger point here, very simply, is like as you approach every decision, who to draft, who to start, who to sit, who to trade. Well, every decision you make in fantasy football, specifically for the draft, but honestly throughout the season, just ask yourself, what's most likely to happen? Doesn't mean it will. The chips aren't always going to fall your way. Doesn't always happen for me. You know, sometimes you have a five and nine season. It is what it is. But then you come back the next year and you crush everyone and you, and you, you bring it up on national TV for a year. What I'm just going to say here, though, is you just look at the decision and just sort of like what's most likely to happen and you try to do some research to sort to, to justify your answer but like you know like Zamir White again as we talked about Zamir White is a, a day three pick who has a, who doesn't really have a pass catching profile who has some competition in the backfield you know and is being highly drafted what's most likely to happen He's yeah. going to disappoint you at, at He's going to disappoint you at ADP. Yeah. Like, again, he might be great. Yeah. But just when you think about the competition, 
the lack of a pedigree, the lack of the lack of dimension to his game. He's he's a north south guy. That's what he is. And so like he's going to need volume. And does he get that volume? What's most likely to happen? What's most likely to happen doesn't mean it will is that he'll disappoint at ADP. Yep. So, Specifically oh, on Zamir White, he's going like the exact same range as James Connor. James Connor last year That's was third in rushing yards per game and plays in a sneakily very dynamic offense, I think. So I'd much rather James Connor at cost. Very quickly before we move on to point four, I just that's the thing is the other thing about running back depth that I'll just talk about that we didn't have time to, but but you were right. Like James Conner, Joe Mixon's another guy that people are just leaving for dead. Like, and you get later into the rounds, like Devin Singletary. We talked about him yesterday. Again, there's a handful of running backs that are not sexy, that don't, that don't play for great games, but you know what? They are just, they are cheap volume. And we talked about this last year as well. James Conner was a guy like that last year, as was David Montgomery last year, as was Isaiah Pacheco last year. There are these running backs that are going in the four to eight and sometimes like ninth and tenth round that are just going to get massive volume. No one's excited about Joe Mixon, but you're going to look up at the end of the year and he's going to be one of the league leaders in rushing attempts. Okay, you have a chance to win $1 million in the NBC sweepstakes on Yahoo Fantasy. Just download the redesigned Yahoo Fantasy app or go to NBCSports.com slash Fantasy Million for additional details. What are you waiting for? Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com, and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay, I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.